well though, without having too many side effects. Um, then if I go to that one, I can eat food as well. And then close and lock. You must close and lock, so if you go out without doing that, you obviously walk into a vacuum. Now I'm going to use, lose a little bit of atmosphere when I walk out here. Um, I can't be helped at this point. I need um, if I can find it. No, in there. No, there it is. Number one. That one and some pipes. I need to turn that so the pipe is coming in this way. Okay, now I need some cabling. So I need the cabling for this has got to come from the other side of the battery, so it's got to come out of this one. So I need to bring it. It's a long way around, unfortunately. We go straight across the hill, they'll interface with that cable so I need to just bring it this way a bit so I can connect to this cabling. And now, what I want to do is turn this on and hear some creaking. Pipes lasting a lot longer than I was expecting. Uh, that's it, that's what we wanted. So that pipe is now blown. So that can now act as a temporary vent. So now if I put these pipes back in, when I leave this room, I can vent this room back into here. Okay, so let's just do a bit of tidying up. Um, pills, don't need that on me. Need glass or plastic on me right at the moment. All the walls. Iron will keep on me. I have a wine frames. Okay. I'll use them in a moment. So 
just take some of this. If I can get it all. Water. This is all the water you've got to start with. Pressure up to in here at the moment, 15 degrees, 15 kPa, sorry. But now I've done that, I can. Oh, and what drill I need? Collapse that down. And then that can go in there. And I can now get down to these bits. going to stick this little solar charger just down there because I need a beacon in a minute which is there and I'll stick that down beside it and turn it on and now because I've got the tracker card in here, which you see up here for close ease, tracker card. When I turn this on, it points to that beacon. So when I'm outside, there's no risk of me getting lost. Although you do have to replace that battery every day or two. Right, let's carry on trying to clear some of this down. will stick some of this stuff outside and I'll create another cupboard or two. In fact, I could do that now. I'll just get rid of this box first so we don't need it here. And these last couple of bits to drop them. I think that's that one full. Here it is. So, now if we close this, I can vent this room. That box here will be saved in there. I mean, each time I go in, I'll be adding a little bit more gas to that room, but that doesn't matter at this point. Um, and now I want to just add a few more of these. Oh, I've still got one left. This will just give me room to expand out here. Ultimately all this will get filled in, but sealed um, in its own room. But for now it doesn't matter if it's exposed to the atmosphere. Right, let's just go locker. Create that. And while that's running, I can dump some more ore in there. Get that going. The reason you don't have this inside your room is because it gives off gas. And it's toxic gas. One. Two. Now, and I will move, change 
which locker I want. start storing stuff in there as well. As I come back I'll start putting stuff in there. Okay that's done. So now we start smelting the copper. What I need to build next is an electronics printer. I need gold and copper which is why I was getting gold and copper earlier. going, let's just grab some more bits out of here. The two batteries can go in a battery charger. flat. Yeah, zero percent flat. It's a shame. I'm not going to be able to go outside the room because well, I can. What I can do is just swap that one out for the time being. Be enough to vent this room. And the sun's coming up, so... 13 grams of... How many grams do I need? I need two gold. So let's take that out of there and replace it with the gold just for now. Once I get the electronics printer, which I'm probably going to put here, I can then... Ah, power oh, low. oh, power. So as you can see, even I'm out of power, so what I need to do is get the um, solid fuel going. Which I believe is over here. Solid fuel generator, and I've got some coal on me. Swap these batteries out again. Spare spanner, but you do. There's a wire. There it is. Let's collect these things. and inventory. Swap that with wire cutters. 
Now, flatten down these two. I don't want to flatten down that one because that one's got all my food in it. So I'll just leave that one in here for the moment if I can push it back in the corner. in KBA. What I can do to increase the pressure in here is, I should have to look at that battery first, what's the battery charge? 37. Let's swap that with that one. Make sure we cover oxygen and then open this door and that will suck some of the outside atmosphere into that room. Now this isn't great atmosphere but it's okay, It'll not, it's not going to kill me. Okay, so that coal's been used, but I've got sunlight coming in. Let's just stick that in there. Turn off because I want to actually use a power. I want to... Printer. Once I've got the electronics printer set up, I can print more solar panels, which get more power during the day to charge my batteries. That is quite slow. That's only thing. And I only want to print one, so let's hit that. I'm okay with that at the moment. Okay with that. Let's. Wait, that's finished. In the meantime, I'm going to the safe side. Mars a bit more coal. I don't know how we got coal on Mars, considering there's no, oh, we've not found life on Mars, and certainly nothing. Um, multicellular organisms there to build, there to generate coal or convert into coal. Um, oh. That's just a hole in the ground, by the way. You get these voids. What's down there? A bit of iron oxide. Okay. I will need the iron oxide. Sorry, I will need the oxide and the volatiles soon to build a furnace. So then I can start smelting steel, and once I've got steel, uh, we can get things moving a bit quicker. I'll need to start looking for shortly as well is water ice because I'll have to uh, 
just aren't filled with my water bottles. I'm quite ready for that yet, but it'll not be long. Car. What's my jetpack doing? 5,000. It's okay. The jetpack is in your backpack on the left hand side, the green bottle. Plastic, plastics inside to be bought. That's a plastic. I shall take that and not with me. Yeah. That's still going, still green. You got very little part left. They're both charged. Pressure in there, 24 kpi. Let's drop that. Plastic. There we go. And then cable. Oops, no, I need screw over. Right then the cabling. That's off, that's off, that's off. So we'll see if something I'm going to throw. There's more coal in there, just keep that going. Once I've got steel, I can build a station battery, which then allows me to. Um, store a lot of the energy, it doesn't mean waste a lot of the energy coming out the um, solid fuel burner, solid fuel generator, sorry, it just gets wasted, it, you can't charge the batteries that quick, however station battery will take a lot of power from that and it lasts a lot longer but you need steel to do that. So, so far this session, it's our first, first session in this, we've got a base up and running, we've got our arc furnace, electronic printer, sorry, arc furnace, electronic printer and um, auto lathe going. We have a pressurised room where we can at least drink water and uh, keep ourselves alive. We've got all our crates taken care of and packed away. They're safe on there. The things in that one out there on those shelves out there are safe now. But oxygen, how much oxygen have we got left? Uh, I found it 90, sorry, 790 litres. Okay. It's got oxygen left, we've got a beacon going, a little solar charger there. So yeah, not a bad start. We've made a bit of a frig to make sure we can pressurise our room because we don't have any passive vents. I will get a passive vent once I create the pipe bend, which is another printer, but I'll do that next session. Uh, so for now guys, that's uh, my there. This is Dragonfly Gamer, signing off. Goodbye.